Hi there, Henry Smith here from IamWorkingRich.com, where we talk about how to understand the game of money and play it well. Thanks for joining me today in this cryptocurrency portfolio update. Make sure you stay to the end of this video, because after the update, I always talk about something of importance. Um, before I continue, it's important for me to do the disclaimer. I'm not a financial planner or financial advisor, so make sure you do your own due diligence before you make a financial decision. And also understand that all investing carries a degree of risk. You don't invest more money than you can afford to lose. So with that, let's go to uh, sharing my screen. Straight to the update. So I did not update it yesterday, but well, I'm going to update it today. Let's have a look. So as, as you know, those who have been following the series, now it's been about close to a year almost. There are three main columns. Altcoin, Bitcoin, and to totalist column. And um, this is get the here. So what we've got here is uh, this particular portfolio consists of one whole Bitcoin selection of specially selected altcoins and the totals column here. So US dollars on the left, British pounds on the right, same portfolio, and that's the percentage split. So being 2377, it means that all coins have kind of rised a bit. Uh, it was 25, 75% split before. Anyway, the figure I want here is 124,558. What was it? Sorry. 124,558.16. 558.16. That is minus 448. That stays red. Next one is 162,605. 162,069.05. Make sure I got that right. That is also down on yesterday. And this is let's see, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is up actually. Two days ago, should I say, not yesterday. Um follow that green. So we've got basically the altcoins down four hundred and forty-eight dollars, Bitcoin up two hundred and eight dollars, and the total portfolio is down on two days ago, shall we say. To $239. So that's the update. But it's all good. It's still up 56,000 on what it started with in the year. Now, um, let's go to uh, yeah, share my screen. Let's talk about look at the market. So the markets right now are looking like they're making a, you know, a slight recovery on, on the downward trend, of, you know, the 1.6 trillion that the market has slumped to. But um, it may be short-lived, but for now, it seems to it's looking like it's making an effort to recover somewhat. Um, I think, you know, there could still be some months to months before it completely recovers. But um, we should watch and see. So there's an upward trend, upward trend. Uh, this is the, this represents the total market, and uh, looking at, you know at Bitcoin, it's a very similar recovery trend, and the same as same as Ethereum, very similar recovery trend. This big this is showing money coming into the market. So money has come into the market, okay. After coming out, a lot of it came out of the market. Twenty fourth of January, money came into the market. And so it's pushed the price back up. That's good. The same as Bitcoin money came into the market as well after you know things went down on the 24th of Jan. And so just you know generally in the in the market in general, money has come into the market. That's what's left led to an increase in the total market caps. Um, but things are still we're still in a bearish trend. You know some people want to argue whether we're in a bull market or bear market, whether the bull market is over or not over. The fact of the matter is that we're in a bearish trend. Um, there may still be a way to go before the, before the bull market ends, but 
the, currently we're in a bearish trend and this explains it and we have a death cross on the 4th of, 4th of um, January. But, you know, but, and that's because the price action has fallen below the green line, which is the 50 day moving average and the red line, which is the 200 day moving average. It's falling below and it's well below. Now, if it should penetrate, if it should move upwards and go through this 50-day moving average, okay, made an attempt, but it seems to have come down somewhat. If it should make its way through it, there could be a, a reversal coming. But it may be following this trend here, up, up and then down and up and then down like a staircase, up and then down, and so on and so forth. And you know, we talked about the death cross coming, talking about this death cross that was coming way before, you know, when we were back in December, that there was a death cross coming in, um, in uh, January, and roughly when it was coming. And it did happen, and yes, it passed it. But there's also two more death crosses coming, possibly coming. I talked about one, well, that one that's happened on the MACD a few, a few days ago, or maybe a week ago. But um, that was a MACD death cross. But there's two death crosses coming, and you can't, can't see them here. So unless Bitcoin avoids those, it could be a further downward trend. And this could be a further downward trend. And to show you what these death crosses are, we have to switch to the two-day. So this is on the one-day chart. We switch the time frame to the two-day. Two -day. <clears throat> two-day chart, you actually see, and it, the two-day chart has a lot less false signal. So you can actually see that there's a possible death cross on the two-day coming up on the, in, uh, around the 16th of February. So that's death cross number one. And that could see, see, signify further downward trend if that happens. Now these dot. You now this is where we are right now. The solid line is where we are right now. The um, the dotted lines are projections. So we're not very we're not very far from it at the moment. So you know so uh, around February the February the sixteenth there could be another death cross. And this is on the two day chart, so it's a lot more accurate and a lot more likely to happen. Number one and number two. There's another death cross coming after that, and that is on the three-day chart. This is what no one else is talking about, uh, or very few, shall I say, talk about. On the three-day chart, which is even has even less false signals, there's a possibility, is you know, if this um, price actually falls, if it stays on the 200-day moving average or falls below it slightly we, we could be heading for one on the 4th of may another death cross and so there could be two death crosses coming one on the 16th of february and one on the 4th of may and th those could lead to further downward price uh, downward price action Bring in Bitcoin. And now, obviously, it's not the end. It doesn't mean the end. It just means that there's going to be more readjustment before we get the reversal. Okay. So once it does reach its bottom, so to speak, um, then there's going to go upwards from there. So, but, so the bottom may not have been reached. But if it can hold this at the moment, Bitcoin is holding this on the on the three day chart. It's actually holding this two hundred the red line as support but if it doesn't if it doesn't hold it as support even if things stay the way they are it's likely to be a death cross so it's it's likely to you know for that death cross to happen which means price actually is likely to go lower but we'll wait and see we'll keep you posted can make sure you keep watching the videos make sure you hit the notification button so you can be updated and you don't want to miss that as, as we approach that. But, you know, what very few people are talking about, you know, when you zoom out, you get a lot more accurate picture than just looking on the day chart. So the day, day chart sh shows the first death cross. Okay, that was the death cross on the day chart, and we're talking about that since December. 
the two day chart talked about is zooming out further and again more accurate than the day chart and that shows a death bus coming in the 16th of um, of February and that is really likely to happen because we are way below 200 the red line here so that's like as good as done uh, but you know nothing is certain in crypto that's the one thing nothing is certain in terms of price action market prices but it is more likely to happen than less at this stage and then obviously i mentioned the green and um, the three-day chart where it's a very good projection it could happen around the, you know the beginning first week in may if things are continuing the trend that they're happening you know once the uh, the 16th the one happens on the 16th happens you know as as shall i say almost scheduled or scheduled then it looks like the um the 4th of may 5th of may this will vary according to how it behaves if it, if it holds as a support it might you know, it, i think it would still happen you know, but it, but if it if it rises up and reaches back into this line, the green line, and it's less, less likely. Um, also, um, and we're looking at Bitcoin and Bitcoin and Ethereum because the, the, these guys are the king and queen of the crypto world, the same, same kind of price swing, uh, price action, momentum, uh, although they're slightly different. But um, what I wanted to show you, you know, is that you know, these two are very, very important, and you probably already know that already. You know, Bitcoin has, has the, is the lion, still the lion's share, still the king of the um, crypto world with 40% of, of the market share. Uh, Ethereum at 18, just under 20%, 18.1%. So these two are really determining the, uh, you know, 60% of the market, virtually almost 60% of the market, 58 point something. 8 point something more 60 percent of the market here with this bit bitcoin and ethereum so this is the king and queen here and we've got some great cryptocurrencies uh, um, blockchain projects here as well but 60 you percent know, are determined by you know that's why when bitcoin goes down there it all goes down and bitcoin and ethereum goes down they all, everybody follows majority mostly everybody follows so um that's the, that's the percentage split between um, you know, Bitcoin compared to all the rest, and so on and so forth. So anyway, if you like content like this, make sure you like and share this video. Don't forget to video, visit our website at imwealthandrich.com. How to understand the game of money and play it well. And scroll down and, and get yourself this um, to millionaire mindset and uh, investment strategy free now. Very simple strategy. Get your finances in order. and. Um, you can come back and read, listen to some of my videos as well. But um, most, mostly, um, I want to thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to, um, like I said, to hit the subscribe button, the like button, the notification button, and share it as well. Okay, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye for now.